Hello everybody! I'd like to launch a new series of uh, videos. It's going to be called Let's Overclock. So this is a kind of a pilot version, if you want to call it that. And I would appreciate if you guys let me know um, any criticism. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. What would you like to see more of or less of or added as extra or changed? in this format so let me know because i want to make this a regular series uh, where i'm gonna have in, be having a look at different uh, graphics cards from uh, different partners that were modified to give us better overclockability and we're going to be talking about changes that they've made to the board as well as i'll be showing you my uh, overclock results that i have achieved and the settings that they were achieved on but just to make you, you aware that, for those of you who don't know, silicon lottery still applies because even though these GPUs are um, cherry-picked, for example, G1 Gaming series from Gigabyte, they're all cherry-picked because they want to use best GPUs that they get in this one and they use uh, all the other ones in their other cards. But still, your mileage may vary. You may get a better overclocking chip, you may get a little bit worse overclocking chip. So let's start by having a look at what kind of change this, they, they've made to the board. So they're saying on their, official, on their official website that they've used two ounces of copper in their PCBs, and as well as solid capacitors and MOSFET was used. Ferret core chokes as well. It all sounds nice, uh, but I don't see any, f any information about changes to the power face. I assume that power face remains the same as the reference design. Um, so yeah, that kind of thing we will probably see changed in, not probably, but definitely changed in EVGA's classified cards and other ones as well. But, but, out-of-the-box performance for this thing is as follows. Uh, out-of-the-box, no tweaking, the core boosted to 1329 MHz. And when I've done some tweaking and found the best possible overclock, what I had was 1494 on the core. And then I conducted the 4K 4K benchmark test, which was Firestrike Ultra. CPU used was 5960X, overclocked to 4.2 GHz. And the score that I received was 5046. The actual core clock, 1494 MHz. Memory clock, 7800 MHz. Changes that I made to make this work were plus 35 millivolts on the core clock and plus 140 megahertz on the core clock plus 400 megahertz on memory so there you go that was quite nice and interesting to work with and um, yeah so basically that is it for now let me know in the comments below what do you think about this card do you like it do you not like it are you planning on getting one of these? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like to show that you are interested and would like to see more of this stuff. But until next time, Archie out.